Alright, uh, how you doing there, Stock Oak Gloss? Uh, I watch your uh, YouTube channel and I enjoy your Agar uh, Simulator videos. And I was uh, watching uh, the last few and you were asking, you know, to see if anybody knew how to do the hay bales. And I'm actually going to make this little tutorial for you so you can uh, see how to do them. Um, they're pretty simple. Uh, I mean, you already you already got the gist of it and the hang of it already. Um, I like to do it from the first person view. Um, the third person is kind of hard. Once you get it, once you get it with the first person, um, it's pretty much pretty easy. Now I've already done these, uh, already used the baler on these. Uh, what I did was I went down just the one way and you unload it at the end. It makes it a lot easier to put the, to put the bales on the trailer because you don't have to go all over the place. So we're just gonna line up our trailer here not really flat ground right here. That's good there. Alright, um we're just gonna we're gonna get some some bales going here. Now this bale here is uh standing up. Let's turn the light off you might be able to see a little better. Alright, uh, I like to stack the bales, um, pretty much because there's a certain, there's a bug with the hay bales, like if you stack them too high, um, say I put um, six bales on the bottom and then six on top, the two on the top will start like fighting with each other and they'll start knocking each other off the off the bit off the uh, trailer so you can only put six on the bottom and three on top so that's uh, that's nine so it's, it's quite a bit what I do here is if you can see the two the two orange I mean the two yellow stripes on the on the actual lift there. That's what I use uh, for reference. I make sure it's about you know about right there, maybe an inch off of the hood of the uh, tractor. And all you have to do is line up with the the. Uh, <laughs> All you have to do is uh, line up with the um, with the hay bale there, and just drive into it, just like that. And you'll see it oh, down in the corner there, and just lift it up. Just like that. You always want to load your trailer uh, in the front first. It's kind of like a seesaw. If you load it in the back, it'll just flip up in the air. You just lift it up and make sure you get pretty close to the front. So you kind of want to lo load it on uh, each side here. Like I want this bale on the closest side here. So when I pull it off, it goes the ca current catches time is on the edge there. PM. So it'll pull out from the forks. I don't know if you could see that with the light. I'll do it on the next one. All 
All right, bales like these that are standing up, you just lift your forks up like this, and you hit it with the edge. Just knock it over. Like that. And we gotta knock it over again, so we gotta lower. Just hit it with the, the corner of it, just like that. Now just square up with it. Make sure the, the yellow, yellow is about an inch or so away from the hood. And just square up with it right there. Just drive it in. And lift it up. Find it a lot easier to do it in in the uh, first person. When you do it in the third person, you're looking all over the place and trying to spin your camera around and see what you're doing. Just put it right on the edge there and pull it out. In uh, Farming Simulator, uh, the 2011 version, they had an actual um, automatic uh, trailer that loaded the hay balers or the hay bales and it was actually pretty cool I wish they would add it in here but you know this gives gives you something to do and once you once you get good at it it's you know it's pretty fun it's not so frustrating you just lift it up a little higher so you can see where you where you're going And just get over here, lower it down, make sure your you're, uh, by that edge there. Just lower it down and pull it out. There you go. See now the, the other side, sometimes I, I'll switch the trailer, like turn it around, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to drive around now so I don't have to... So I really don't have to do that right now. Uh, this one's got to be knocked over. Uh, I actually hit it with my my fork. Got to hit it with the side of the. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes when you dump them out of the the baler, they shoot out and. They don't really land where you want them to. Yeah, so to, to really make this easier for myself, I would turn the trailer around. But I'm just going to do it like this right now. Remember, you gotta load the front first. See, now I know I, I hit that bale over there, so I know I have enough room to lay it down a little. There, and it's right on the edge there, so I can just see what happens the bale gets caught on that edge there and you can pull it off it's not really on there good though let's see because I didn't push it the first time there we go now it's in there alright two more to go
then after um, after we get those two done, we'll put three more on top. But like I said, I know you like to do uh, the third person. I just kind of find it easier to do it this way because you can still look around and everything. You can see what you're doing. Uh, I might have to lift the forks up a little. It came off. I mean, you can lift the forks up every time if you want to, but I usually don't. Five, and then we get one more, and then the other three go on top. I'm just gonna get the ones over here that are already laying down for right now. But I've, uh, I've enjoyed your videos and uh, been wanting to make this video for you for quite a while. I just decided to do it today. But this is the best way I've found to do this. Um, I'm not a farmer or anything. I just. I used to play. Uh, the FS uh, 2011 and once I found out they had the automatic hay beller in that the trailer, the automatic trailer I used that like all the time, that was so much easier but this actually made a challenge for me I mean the automatic one makes it quicker, makes work easier, but this one actually makes it like a little puzzle game almost. I don't know if I got the fork in there right. But yeah like this one, these next three are just going to be on top. Because if you line them up like I have on there now, on the top, they start fighting with each other. Oh, great. Fell off. Wonder why that happened. That was weird. Yeah, if you put them next to each other like this on the top, they fight with each other and they start moving around. I actually watched them. And they were just... They were constantly, like, rubbing each other. And they were just... <laughs> they were just, uh... Kind of, like, dancing off the side of the... Off the side of the trailer. I mean, I did it once before where I had... Um, all 12 bales on there 